last week. Our hood would be open. Between us, we're an absolute great combination. We found a, a solution to an existing problem, which is what design is, really. And you know, creativity is all about problem solving. And actually, we're not very good at solving our own problems. So we have you know, 3,000 students graduating in a, in a category of design. And the employing uh, industry doesn't know how to go and find them. So this competition is definitely a solution for that. This evening, with our partner, the Open Foundation, we're glad to invite 92 universities to uh, attend as finalists. We have five categories and they cover uh, the creative industries. And from these five creative, so to these five categories, we have a £1,000 category prize and the overall winner prize, which doesn't have to be a, one of the winners of the categories. So you can hold your breath right to the last minute. We have a £30,000 prize. Art is the largest category of the five um, with entries. So the most competitive for the £1,000 prize. And the courses include um, illustration, graphic design, fine art, 3D design and animation. And I'm delighted to say the winner is Joshua Redican from Coventry University. The project was to do with social media addiction. I was looking at stuff like uh, on Facebook, uh, Snapchat and Abby's life becoming more involved in our lives and it's taking over our lives. The second category is the interior decoration category. The courses include adornment, which is interior decoration, and it's the most misunderstood uh, of the creative industries. <coughs> the interior decoration design and styling covers colour, print design, and much more. So I'm delighted to announce the winner is Catherine Sinclair. to go down the route of doing digital knit for interiors so that I could create big samples and, and expressive samples. So it's, it was all to do with building shelter and the idea of the balance between looking for an escape but also needing to feel protected and feeling safe as well and that's, that's where the inspiration came from. Fashion courses include fashion trends, textile design, fashion contour, Pattern cutting, fashion illustration. The winner is Anna Quinney from Harry Watt University. Um, it's very surprising because there were so many inspiring um, fashion entries. Um, it also means that you know this focus on disability and accessible fashion is really yeah. something that people want to focus on. Um, and after doing so much research and in-depth um, discussions with people at RNIB and so on who have been really helpful in the whole project. The interior design sector courses include sourcing, 2D, 3D software, interior architecture and design, interior and spatial design, interior and environmental design in the courses. The winner of the Interior Design Student Award is Stephen Toza. Yeah! 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 So the Gas House. It was based in some old gas works in Bristol. It's a unit for children who are in social care, um, young people who are going to have to go and live independently at some point in the near future. So it was for them to learn life skills, get educational support and that kind of thing. Uh, so that they've got a much better chance once they to have to live. Uh, so now we've gone to product design category. The course includes structure, sustainable product design, product design and engineering, furniture and product design across the courses. The winner is from the University of West of England, Stephen Gitton.
I designed uh, an invention which is a pneumonia detection device. So you literally put it onto a baby and it actually counts the breathing rate and detects whether they have pneumonia or not. I had a discussion with my mother because she's a Kenyan doctor and then she told me that there was this problem with um, Kenyan doctors not being able to diagnose pneumonia effectively. So I took the idea and designed a solution around it and that's what got me here today. And now the final overall winner, £30,000, is absolutely wild. It could be anybody from any category of the 75 finalists. I'm very pleased to announce that the overall winner of the fantastic prize is from Dundee, Katerina Smirinova. modular community building uh, system that could uh, help communities to grow in an organic way, to change uh, the size or increase and decrease in size if required. So I would like to uh, equip a studio and a workshop. I always wanted to collaborate with other designers and makers just to build a prototype new solutions for living and working spaces. Um, I'd like to thank my team. I'd like to thank the, the open team. I'd like to thank all our judges. And I'd like to thank all of the universities because without all the students, without all the tutors, we wouldn't be able to do this.